Here in San Francisco, technology has a presence almost everywhere. The same people who are making startup companies, developing apps, and creating the next big thing also use their talents for art projects. Sugar Cubes is a 3D visual structure DJs activate with their music. Using complex mapping software, they control addressable LEDs to enhance the audience experience. I recently caught up with Alex, the creator, while in San Francisco between my travels. When we've done some shows, uh, people's minds have just been blown by the what they perceive to be the music. And you know, one time my brother and I just DJed. We, we, we didn't even have internet. We had like you know, 100 songs off Spotify. You know, yeah. No mixer. We just put so you know, put tracks on and we used the cubes and. And people are still asking who those DJs were, you know? And, and it's like, it's not, they're getting the dopamine from the experience, you know? Right. But they're not getting it from what they think they're getting, you know? Yeah. It's... So to me, it seems like there's really, what, four things happening here. The music, you have the, the actual lights, you have the software, the computer aspect, and then you have the board. Yeah. They're kind of like all the components. Yeah, yeah, I and think. And there's you. Yeah. <laughs> electronic music producers, they're writing this music, but then they're triggering their loops live, and it's kind of a little different every time, you know, and, and maybe the really, the kind of true artist, like your Fortet or somebody, is really doing a lot live, you know, and, and kind of, you know, doing this this version of electronic jazz, you know, and that's that's where I want to, um, where I want to take this, you know, where, where you have, if you're skilled and confident, you can kind of come up with whole concepts live and just, you know, and build them up, and then you get this thing that, you know, it, it's kind of, it's gone, you know? It's not necessarily saved, you know? But every time's different, and that's kind of the magic. In order to create this, there was a couple fundamental problems we had to solve. We had to make a 3D model of the structure, and then we had to figure out how to get data from our 3D model into the structure. Our 3D model lives right here, as you can see. Okay, so the computer sends all the information out from the model uh, to this router, which is just like what you would see in your home, you know, sending internet data around. From the router, it gets split out to, to depending on how big the structure we uh, we build, uh, you know, three to five what we call panda boards. This is something we actually had to invent, unfortunately, because all the LED controllers that we could find when we first built this didn't have enough RAM to drive as many LEDs. So if you see this, uh, it looks a little hacky, and it's because it is. So from the panda boards, we have this connector, which is four wires, because that's how many uh, wires our LEDs have, and then they, you know, comes out from the board, and then it goes right in here into an LED strip. What do you think of the sugar cubes? How do they make you feel? Do they have an impact on you? Is it emotional? Or are you just fascinated by the technology? Let us know in the comments. And click subscribe to see the next big thing in the making.